Bulldog Country. This weekend we talk with UMD women's hockey defenseman Sydney Morn about this weekend's upcoming matchup against Harvard and we get to know her a little bit. UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. Two and two all five. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Torrent flipped it in there. Aya follow went to the net. They combined to get this. Uh, Sydney Morin, UMD women's hockey, number five defenseman. Uh, senior from Minnetonka, Minnesota. Uh, before UMD, you played for Minnetonka High School where you won three straight state championships. Can you talk about how your success in high school helped you prepare to play collegiately? Yeah, I think that's obviously a great honor, winning three state championships and kind of was the glory days for me, but um, I think the coaches there really helped pre prepare me for this level of hockey as well as my teammates there. I mean, we had six or seven other girls that also went to, on to play Division One hockey so just being challenged at practice every day and being successful you know built a lot of confidence going into my college years. And then after your Minnetonka days you suited up for the USA U18 team where you played the uh, World Championships. Can you talk about what it meant for you to represent your country and wear the USA across your chest? Yeah for sure that was a great honor and an awesome experience for me you know going to Vermaki, Finland and playing for a gold medal was obviously a great honor and really good experience playing at that level of hockey and getting exposed uh, to other things. You know, I think that was an awesome experience for me and also playing against one of my current teammates, Ashley Bricklick, that was on the under 18 Canada national team. So that was awesome for me. And with this being your final season playing with the Bulldogs, when you look back on it all, what has been your most memorable moment? Yeah, I think that there's a lot, but uh, last season we swept Bemidji State to move on to the final face-off. Um, I think that was awesome, just kind of making a statement to the country that um, we're a good team and we're here to play. And I think also this season just being off to a great start has been pretty mem memorable being ranked high in the polls. All right, so at 8-3-3 three and, three and ranked fourth in the nation, UMD is off to its best start since the 2010-2011 season. Um, what can you attribute to you guys' success so far this year? Yeah, I think that we've really just been focusing on ourselves and playing good in all three zones. Um, I think just playing, our goalie's been playing amazing. Maddie Rooney's had an awesome start to the year. Our defense have been playing well and con be contributing offensively. And then our forwards have been amazing. So I think that that's been kind of a big key to our success, playing really well in all three zones and just getting better every weekend. Coming off of a big weekend split with the number one team in the nation, the Wisconsin Badgers, what's the attitude of the team going forward? Do you feel like there isn't a team that you guys can't beat? Yeah, I think that that needs to be our attitude every single weekend. You know, we're not better than anybody. We can't go into weekends thinking that we're on top of the world. We need to prepare every single weekend like we're playing the number one team in the country. And um, obviously built some confidence there beating the number one team in the country, but we're really focused on, focused on ourselves and making sure that we're improving every weekend and focusing on what's going on in our locker room and controlling the things we can. And so far this season, you guys have played five ranked opponents out of your total seven series played. How do you, how do you feel that's impacted you guys so far? Do you welcome that challenge week in and week out? Yeah, I think it's awesome to have a tough schedule like we do and playing ranked opponents every single weekend. I think it makes a statement to the country that we're here to play and, you know, we're a really good team, but it also builds confidence in our locker and moving forward. This is your second season representing the Bulldogs as an assistant captain. What does it mean for you to be able to represent this prestigious program that's won five national championships over the years? Yeah, I think it's awesome and it's a great honor, you know, being voted assistant captain by the players. And, you know, I couldn't do it without the rest of my team and our other captain and our awesome coaching staff. But, yeah, it's an awesome feeling to wear that A every single game and being a leader for our team. And lastly, before making her transition to UMD uh, last season, head coach Maura Crowell played for Harvard, who ironically enough you guys play this weekend. What do you guys have to do to come away with a pair of victories and how nice would it be to get those victories for coach? 
Yeah, I think it's awesome anytime we get to play an opponent from out east, and I think that we're just going to focus on playing our game. Sometimes the style of hockey is a little different out east, but I think it would be an awesome feeling for her and the rest of the team to pull away with the sweep and show that show hockey east what we're made of. If you had the opportunity to choose one NHL player to skate with for the afternoon, who would it be and why? I would choose Ryan Suter. Uh, I think that he's a really awesome defenseman, and I kind of compare my game to him, so I think that'd be really awesome to play for play with him one afternoon. Favorite movie? Favorite movie? That's tough. Uh, I really like the movie Bridesmaids. Okay. Uh, what would what would uh, Sydney's pet peeve be? What makes you tick? Mm, that's tough. There's. Uh, I, I really don't like when people bite their nails in front of me or uh, when people leave the toilet seat up too. It drives me crazy. Okay. <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? I'm not, I don't drink pop, so. Drink of choice then? Lemonade, probably. Okay. Yeah. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? Hmm, I think it'd be to go back in time. Um, I think that that'd be interesting just to go back in time being able to change some decisions that you've made or be with loved ones that might not be here anymore. Who's the prankster or jokester of the team? I would probably say Jess Healy. And favorite food? Favorite food, Chipotle. <laughs> okay, and lastly, um, if you could play one D1 sport outside of hockey, what would it be? Uh, probably skiing.